Lawmakers want to see changes when it comes to high-speed pursuits. If we don't know what's going wrong, then how can we fix it? In state Senator Caleb Klein-Peters district, two teenage girls were killed on New Year's Eve day when an Addis police officer plowed into their car while chasing a suspect. Why not a uniform pursuit policy? And that also seems like it would get rid of a lot of the um, inter-jurisdiction issues. While it is recognized that sometimes the chase is unavoidable, there needs to be a closer look at when to start one and when to call it off. Representatives of different law enforcement agencies said that there needs to be more funding to get more training for officers to better prepare for these situations. Klein Peter also suggests increasing the penalties for aggravated flight. As for a uniform policy, he's interested in it but would have to work closely with law enforcement on how to make it work across the state. So you have some law enforcement officers out there they are afraid to have any policy because they're afraid that it's going to hamstring them or they're going to be, you know, somehow disciplined. The parents of the teens say that they want to have a record of when an officer causes damage in a pursuit to be carried with them even if they resign. We, we all back the blue here, but if, if we don't back them with funding to say, hey, look, you messed up, we're going we're gonna to sit back, we're going to evaluate the situation, and we're going to put you through training to, to hopefully correct the problem that just happened. And if we don't do that, it's going to happen again. The group will come back with a plan on how to make a change and present it to the legislature. For your local election headquarters, I'm Shannon Hecht.